So originally I was going to take the train to Sarajevo because I've been told that it's one of the most beautiful train rides in the world. So I booked a 5 p.m. train, but then it got changed to like 8 o'clock. So by then the sun would have set and you won't be able to see anything on the road. So yeah, there's, there's no point in doing that. So I decided to just take the bus. Um, it leaves at 6 p.m. So hopefully there's still view to be had. <laughs> I'm also going to show you what the train station is like in Mostar. So this is the main entrance. And I think there's only one train today. And it says here that the entrance is open 30 minutes before train departure. So yeah. Uh, there's a cafe there. Otherwise there's nothing else around here. The bus station is actually next to the train station, which is quite handy. We set off just before sunset and the views are nothing short of spectacular. The internet did not lie. I love watching the mountains glow as the setting sun hits their peaks. They look like they're made of gold. Match that with the emerald green rivers and quaint little villages, it feels like you're in another world. Good morning and welcome to Sarajevo, the capital city of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sarajevo has a rich and diverse past. The city has enjoyed periods of Ottoman rule, Austro-Hungarian influence, and the turbulent years of the Bosnian War. Instead of cramming everything in in one day, I've only got one day here, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take it slow. There are tons of bridges here in Sarajevo, but this one that I'm on right now leads to a spot that sparked World War I. I'm in the old town right now and the architecture here is fantastic. It feels like I've been transported to a different century. Sarajevo streets are adorned with stunning examples of Ottoman architecture, showcasing the city's vibrant cultural heritage. And at the heart of it all is Sibylle, an Ottoman-style wooden fountain. It's one of the main symbols of the city. Not too far away is Gazi Huzrev Beg Mosque. It's the largest historical mosque in the country. I didn't know it at the time, but this one here is the oldest street in Sarajevo. I like walking along these small alleyways with little shops on the side. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be taking things slow today. So here in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the best way to take things slow is by having Bosnian coffee. There's a spot in Sarajevo where you can see the meeting of Western and Eastern influences in the city. If you look west, you can see the Austro-Hungarian influence. 
Western architecture. And if you look east, you can see the Ottoman influence, Eastern architecture. And this is the part of the city with Western influence architecture. So I'm now in a fruit market in search for Sarajevo Rose. It's a type of memorial from a concrete scars caused by a mortar shell's explosion during the siege of Sarajevo. It was later filled by red resin that looks almost floral in arrangement. There's around 200 roses in the entire city and they are marked in locations where at least three people were killed. It is getting really hot here in the city, so I'm heading up to the mountain to hopefully have a better cool climate and also to see the whole of Sarajevo. So I'm taking the lift all the way up to the mountain. I'm not gonna hike in this weather, it's so hot. I also know that everyone just let me be on my own in this car. <laughs> Amazing. So I guess there's nothing else to do here but to do a bit of walking in the forest. Which is kind of cool because the weather here is a little bit cooler compared to the city. I always feel apprehensive walking alone <laughs> on my own in the forest. <laughs> but I think it's safer and there's also a few people behind me so yeah, should be safe. This was built for the Winter Olympics but I think after the Olympics I don't think they have any use for this so it's just been abandoned. Oh, what a shame. You know what would this be good for? Mario Kart. <laughs> So I guess this goes on forever, probably until the bottom of the hill. So I think I'm just gonna stop here. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. <laughs> There's a bit of breeze, which kind of helps. But I think, man, everyone, this is Sarajevo. There's a little road that goes into the woods, but then that sign there, <laughs> just there, it's kind of scaring me. I guess that's enough hiking for today. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will be taking a 12-hour bus ride to Belgrade. Yes, you heard that right. 12 hours. It should be fun. 
I will see you in Belgrade. Kita kids, or as you say here in Sarajevo, Vidimusei.